Okay, back to Tiger Kings. Okay, so we open with the arm severance. Oh my God. This girl is on the show and she sadly lost her arm. What? Wait a minute. It would have been two years of reconstructive surgery or you could just let it go and you said just let it go? I don't even know if that counts as a loss or just giving it. I, I'd have fought. I, both of you, I'm going to fight. I will fight hard. I will fight hard. I can't pick a favorite. I love you both. What in the... No oh my God. This guy has completely brainwashed her. She said, if I stay in the hospital, the media wins. And it's about the Tigers. That he's making money off of. Are you for real? Seven days in the hospital and she was back. Oh, this is a cult. This is a culty cult, cult, cult. Yeah, now one of his, now the one guy who films is talking about the addiction of exotic animals. Y'all must be addicted because this shit don't make no sense. Oh my God, there's a big old gash on his neck. That That's addicting? Disfigurement and maiming. I can't. Okay, so the Myrtle Beach guy, the one who wants those open wallets. Now we got him and a whole couch full of baby tigers. I'm sorry, I just don't see what the big deal is about these damn tigers. They're cute, but they ain't that cute. Honey, I'm not insecure and broken. I don't want to be mauled. Oh, God, now we got Carol. They want to use those cats to elevate yours, to elevate their status. Like you wear cat print, cat print. Cat print. Okay, so Joe Exotic wanted to keep breeding tigers so he could have the cute babies and make the cute coin. Oh, wow, a baby tiger is two grand. I know dogs that are costing more. Oh, God, now we got Tim Stark from Wildlife in Need. And he looks crazy. Oh, wow, his tigers are pretty. Oh, those are beautiful white tigers. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, Jesus, and now Carol's posting online every place that he's selling the tiger. Carol, you are obsessed. You are obsessed, and I, I really want your cats to eat you. Okay, now who the hell is Mario Tabro? I, I had no idea there was all this security and money in this. Child, Mario ain't playing that bullshit. You gotta stay out. Oh, child, Mario pull up in the Bentley. All right. With the ZWF Zoo. I want to know who the cameraman is that's in here getting this footage. Because, child, it, did you have like a tiger-proof suit on or something? Because, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, so he's an old Coke kingpin. Mario, you know you killed that informant. How are you out of jail? How? How are you out of jail amongst the people? With a Bentley. Chow, I'm fucking up. I, I, I'm fucking up. 12 years. Girl, you didn't just win that appeal. You won the lotto. Oh, God. So his second animal was a cougar after some Great Danes. A cougar. Oh, then he got lions from somebody who got killed by lions because, you know, they're not going to eat you. I can't say that the animals don't seem loving, but um, they be switching it up too much. Oh, God, she's raising primates with diapers. The wife. Are you for... I had no idea all of this was going on. What is going on right now? What is going on? Monkey in the house. Tiger in the backyard, panther in the pisser. And this woman said, oh yeah, I'm one of three wives. One of three wives. You're raising monkeys, but you're one of three wives. Cleaning up monkey poop. Changing monkey diapers. Oh God, this is the fool in Florida. This is the doctor, and he's a doctor of mystical science. 
I've seen his kind of scum before, I tell you. So now we've got sister wives and tigers. I thought this was the cocaine guy. We just slipped into the doctor of mystical science. Lord, he didn't watch a couple episodes of Unsolved Mystery. <laughs> he called himself a doctor. Oh, God, he said we have apprentices that come on as teenagers, so now it's a R. Kelly team. You really couldn't write this shit. <laughs> Nobody would believe it. I, quiet as it's kept, I'm looking at these houses, and I'm like, oh, well, everybody got their own house and their own nice house. I mean... Oh, Lord, he's ugly, and I can't stand all that hair, but them houses I can't argue with. Oh, Jesus, he has children? Oh, no. I'm sorry to them babies. Oh, God, now we have the story of the broken apprentice who was there for eight years. Barbara. I can already tell you it's going to be sorry to this Barbara, because I looked at that hovel of a house, and I was like, ooh. That's the house of a sad story. Oh, they were calling him Bhagavan, which meant Lord. They were calling him Lord. <laughs> what? What? I mean, I guess they're all going to be pretty culty. Ooh, ooh. Okay, um... Well, the son's going to end up looking like him, and that's a tragedy. He already doing that hair thing. Uh, <laughs> but he said, yeah, my, my dad definitely thinks he is that guy in his universe. I'm going to let him think that because I want to inherit. Oh, Lord, he said it is a Shangri-La. Everything is neutral, happy, <laughs> and, and going well. But uh, you still got a whole lot of plaque in the bottom of your teeth. That's not going well. Wow. You know, I I did not realize that you did you had the option to not live on Earth. I don't know where the fuck he is, but it ain't Earth. So she was staying in a room with roaches and bars. And to get to the top, you had to get on top. How is it this wild and it's episode two? How? Oh, God, now he's a girl with the Shakti Pa enlightening the pussy. Y'all gonna stop going to them zoos. <laughs> oh, God, and of course, this is Joe Exotic's mentor. Two peas in a tight ass pod. Oh, God, so, so they were all into the polyamory, bonding over multiple partners. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why are they singing? Oh, God. Oh, God. Why is he singing to this jack-o'-lantern tooth husband? Why? So now we got to go through Joe's husbands. We got John. Um, as long as he doesn't open his mouth. Well, he hasn't opened his mouth, so that's a good thing. Okay, I'm going to need you to learn what muscle-bound means because neither of these men are, are muscle-bound. Boris Kojo, Shamar Moore, um, The Rock, that's muscle bound. These, like, they, they just average, you know, and very hillbilly ish. God! Okay, I'm seeing Travis. Why would Travis want Joe? Oh my God, I do not understand. What the fuck? You know what, you know what, you see he might have been 6'6 six, six or B66, six, six, but that elevator child, that elevator hitting about a 4'8. How? How, how did this, how, how, how? Oh my God. What, meth, that's how, meth. I, I mean, I look at this picture and I can't imagine what that smells like. Aw, oh, and the first husband's kind of sad about it. I can't look at his mouth without almost wanting to break down because it's just a tragedy. So they all three got married. All three of them got, got married. All three of them were on the marriage certificate. Okay, so you can see the fact Joe kissed both of them and they did not kiss each other. They were here for it. How you gonna marry two people and they ain't in love? What am I watching? I wanna wake up. 
Oh my god, I want to wake up. Why were their wedding colors pink? Oh my god, they were embossed on sheets. Now, I gotta agree with Barbara. I, she calling tea on these labor camps. Oh my god, these people are working from 8 to midnight taking care of these animals while he takes photo ops and goes out to TV shows. Right when you thought Mona Scott Young was the biggest pimp on the block. All this for $100 a week because it's a lifestyle. And they provide housing. Ooh, girl, a factory town. Oh, and of course Carol gone say, I don't pay anybody to do animal care because people will do that for free. Oh, God, she's got a system of classes so you can be around these animals and take care of her shit for free. So, again, she, she's like, look, I ain't gonna get no dick out of it, but I'm gonna get some extra coin. He's just like, look, you just gonna do it for the dick. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God, this heifer is on Facebook. So, everybody has an amazing social media presence because of these damn cats. But everybody also has these cheesy music videos. Why? What about cat tigers say music? Cat print. Cat print. Why don't you make a song about that? Cat print shimmy. Ooh, ooh, do the cat print shimmy. Rawr, rawr. Do the cat print shimmy. Cat print. I have seen Big Cat Rescue videos before. I thought the shit was in Africa. Oh, Jesus, this half that they got singing is so nasal. <laughs> okay, so Joe went to see Big Cat Rescue, and he said, child, it's a wired mess in a backyard. The other one said it was a dilapidated collection of 12 cats. I tend to agree with both. I can't. Every episode is like a movie. So now Joe went and toured, but after that, that wasn't good enough. He said, well, I'm going to see 12, and I want to see all 100. So he gets a helicopter, flies over, and gets footage. Tim Stark said, oh, I was admiring how the doctor had them women trained. They were his harem. It sounds like they were. The This guy, he looks like um, Woody Harrelson, Tim Stark does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I can't. I really, oh my God. So back at the hovel, the woman says, yeah, China came after I did. Her name was Michelle. <laughs> Nuff said. She got a whole new name. That dick cannot be that good. It can't be that good. It can't. I refuse to believe. He got these heifers out there for two pumps, three hots, and a cot. Well, actually, once they get to the upper tiers, the mother houses was nice, though. Oh, Jesus, her name was changed to Bala for many... <laughs> Not Bala. Bala. They strong-bosomed her into some implants. Okay, uh, the guy who works there, what, what is he getting out of this? Is he part of the harem, too? He gotta be. At least Joe said he got his little cult and I got my little cult. Joe get it. Joe had a lay. Joe had a half a loser arm for him. Wasn't even necessary. She just said, "And let it go, let it go. I got to get back to work." So Joe Exotic would get the people with nowhere to go and needed, you know, hard work to keep their hands busy and away from the bottle or the drugs, and so they'd go work at the tiger farm because, I like, I guess it's a lot of. It must be a lot of work. Like, damn, like. I, I imagine the tigers would lay there most of the day. Like, how long does it take them to get food? Oh, God, $20 a day for 12 hours worth of work. You hear they're making all this money. They're not spending that much on the food. Where is the money going? Oh, Jesus Christ, he said, we just eat off the meat truck. Okay, that's it. That's it. Ah, yeah. Yeah. How is it going to get any more nutty boo? Y'all are eating roadkill and getting paid $20 a day. This is like roots for white people. It's not roadkill, but it's just as bad. It's expired meat from Walmart. Are you serious? No running water, barely any air conditioning, four trailers on the park. Where is the money? Oh, Lord. So apparently... The girl uh, did really good with this tiger, Larchmont, and they had a bond. And then, of course, after he was too big, he got some youth in his zay-zay. Mm. 
All right, now we get into Carol's dead and missing husband. Well, that was crazy ass episode two, so I will see you soon for the rest of this shit.